Imagine this. You're at the helm of a tugboat, one of the most powerful machines on the water. The wind is whipping, the current is churning, and you're responsible for maneuvering massive ships in tight spaces. It's a high pressure job, no doubt about it. And in this line of work, one rookie mistake can cost you big time. We're talking about damage to property, jeopardizing your career, and even putting lives at risk. Sounds intense, right? Well, it is, but don't worry. We're here to help you navigate these treacherous waters. Let's face it, folks. Tugboats are beasts. They may look small compared to the massive ships they maneuver, but trust me, they pack a serious punch. You see, these workhorses are designed for brute strength, not speed. They are the Clydesdales of the sea, built to push and pull with incredible force. Now, here's where things get tricky for rookies. Underestimating that power is a recipe for disaster. It's like handing a loaded cannon to someone who's never seen a firearm. One wrong move and you're talking about potential damage, injury, and a whole lot of paperwork. So, how do you avoid this rookie pitfall? First things first, respect the machine. Don't just jump in the captain's chair and start throwing levers. Take your time, get to know the tug's quirks, and understand how it responds to your commands. Start with small controlled maneuvers Get a feel for how she reacts to changes in throttle, how she handles in reverse, and how she responds to the rudder. Think of it like learning to drive a stick shift. You wouldn't jump in a Ferrari and immediately hit the Autobahn, would you? Treat your tug with the same respect. Here's the deal, folks. The ocean doesn't care about your schedule, your deadlines, or your boss's latest demands. She operates on her own terms. And believe me, she's one unforgiving lady. Wind, waves, currents, fog. These are just a few of the curveballs Mother Nature can then throw your way. And out here on the water, ignorance is not bliss. It's a one-way ticket to trouble. So, what's a tugboat operator to do? Well, you gotta become a student of the sea, my friend. Before you even think about casting off those lines, check the weather forecast. And I'm not talking about just glancing at your phone. I'm talking about studying marine weather reports, understanding wind patterns, and knowing what those isobas mean. Next up, tides and currents. These natural forces can play havoc with your best laid plans, especially in tight quarters. Get yourself a good set of tide tables and learn how to read them. Know when the tides are turning, how strong the currents are running, and how they will impact your tug's handling. And don't forget about technology. There are some amazing apps and electronic charting systems available these days that can provide real-time updates on weather and sea conditions. Use them. Remember folks, the ocean demands respect. Take the time to understand her moods. Anticipate her tantrums and you'll be well on your way to becoming a seasoned tugboat operator. You know, in the tugboat world, Communication is everything. It's the difference between a smooth operation and a potential catastrophe. And I'm not just talking about knowing how to work the radio. I'm talking about clear, concise, and timely communication with your crew, the dock workers, and any other vessels in the vicinity. Think of it like a well-choreographed dance Everyone needs to be on the same page, following the same rhythm, 
to avoid stepping on each other's toes. Now, when it comes to communication, there are two key ingredients, clarity and simplicity. Out here on the water, there's no room for fancy jargon or technical mumbo jumbo. Keep your messages short, sweet, and to the point. Use standard nautical terms and hand signals that everyone understands. And remember, communication is a two-way street. It's not just about talking, it's about listening. Pay attention to what others are saying, both verbally and non-verbally. Watch for hand signals from deckhands. Listen for horn blasts from other vessels and be aware of your surroundings. Remember folks, in the tugboat world, clear communication isn't just a good idea. It's essential for safety and success. Lines, ropes, hawsers, these are the lifelines of our industry. They connect us to the ships um, we're maneuvering and keep us tethered to the dock. But line handling is more than just brute strength. It's about finesse, technique, and know-how. Those lines can be under thousands of pounds of tension, and one wrong move can turn them into dangerous whips. Respect those lines, inspect them regularly, and use proper knots. Learn how to read the lines. They tell a story, and never underestimate the power of communication. Line handling is a team effort. Let's face it folks, tugboats take a beating. They operate in some of the harshest conditions imaginable. Salt water, scorching sun, freezing temperatures, you name it, they've seen it all. And just like any other piece of machinery, they require regular maintenance to stay in tip-top shape. Now, I'm not talking about your basic oil change and tire rotation here. I'm talking about a proactive, comprehensive approach to maintenance that will keep your tug running smoothly for years to come. First and foremost, you gotta know your tug inside and out. Familiarize yourself with every nut, bolt, hose, and wire. Understand how each system works, what its limitations are, and what signs of wear and tear to look out for. Next up, create a preventive maintenance checklist and stick to it religiously. This checklist should include everything from daily engine checks to weekly fluid level inspections to monthly greasing of moving parts. And don't forget about those pesky little details. Inspect your lines and fenders regularly. Check your firefighting equipment. Make sure your navigation lights are in working order. The list goes on. Remember folks, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. By staying on top of your tug's maintenance, you'll not only prevent costly breakdowns, but you'll also ensure the safety of yourself, your crew, and the environment. Well folks, there you have it. Five common mistakes that rookie tugboat operators make and, more importantly, how to avoid them. Remember, operating a tugboat is a demanding but rewarding profession. It takes skill, dedication, and a healthy dose of respect for the power of the water. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps us reach more aspiring tugboat operators just like you. Subscribe for more expert tips and tutorials on tugboat operations and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Join our community of skilled operators. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time on the water.